A Nigerian music video director, filmmaker, and a television director, Kemi Aditiba, shares her story on what inspires her style, the music video that turned her career around, and how she feels to be chosen as an Evo Lagos Achiever woman. Starting her journey into the media as a young child, she lets us in on what kind of kid she was growing up. I was quite complicated. Um, I think I'm, also, I'm still a complicated adult, but um, I was extremely playful, but I was also a learner. I absolutely loved music. Music was my escape from everything. Music was a very, very big part of growing up, especially because my parents were highly musical. She talked about the music videos that turned her career around. Um, the first one was Bears More You. More you, you smile for me. Um, Lagos Party. And lastly, I would say again, um, Bears, the second video, the last video that I did for him called Say. But then special mention goes to T.Y. Bello, um, uh, uh, the future, the, the video I did for her for called The Future. Talking about her first feature movie, The Wedding Party. I'm not about to let the cocos poison my guests. Weds or ladu ni coca. This girl, you are an angel. We should have even charged them double bright price. The Wedding Party is a romantic comedy and it stars a lot of amazing actors in it. It's got RMD, it's got Shalasho Bowale, Reti Doyle, Banky W. Alibaba, AY, Ikechuku, Sam Kele, Adesuai Tommy. It's got a host of people. It's a very good time. It's, it's, it's centered around one day in the life of uh, a few people, and it's a wedding. And if anyone knows anything about Nigerian weddings, as much as there's a lot of love and dancing and joy, there's also lots of chaos. <laughs> She let us in on the principles that she's guided by. Give out love and you get it back. Always be positive. Always look for the good with, in, in people. And people that try to bring negativity into your space, cut them off, even if they're family. I don't have so many friends. I don't, I don't have um, too many people I hang around. And it's intentional because I want to maintain my peace. I want to maintain my positivity. I want to maintain love. So if you're going to bring something that's toxic into my life, I'm going to cut you off. She also talks about what inspires her fashion style. One day, I could be very Audrey Hepburn, <laughs> very classic and lady and things like that. And then the next day, I could be very Ciara. So it's, I'm, 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 I'm very much a tomboy. I love sneakers. I love basketball jerseys, I love jeans, um, you know what I'm saying, I love baseball hats and the next day I want to have my hair up in a, in a bun and I want to wear something nice and classy. So it's, it's always, it's, it's, it's one of those things, you can say Audrey Hepburn, you can say something, let's just say Ciara, so, but it just depends on my mood. And for the greatest woman who ever lived. The greatest woman that ever lived is my mother. After years of success being in front and behind the camera, she tells us what her greatest achievements are. My greatest achievement so far will probably surprise a lot of people. It will be driving. And the reason why I say driving is because, first of all, driving just seemed like this weird, complicated thing 
to do. And I remember when I, I first learned to drive, there was this amazing sense of empowerment. I, that just meant like, I, I don't have to beg anyone to get anywhere. I don't have to beg anyone to leave anywhere. I never have to be dependent on anyone. And I know, I, I know it, it seems flimsy, like why does it read all those things to me? But that's what it did. It just, I felt very strong. She talked about what she would have been, if not a music video director. Um, I don't know what I would have done specifically, but I think I might have been, I probably would have, done something in the music industry, maybe be a music producer. I, I have a feeling that I might have been a music producer or probably done more being a DJ because I used to DJ back in the day, but then I think, because I, I loved music, I grew up around music. It, music was a huge part of my life. In fact, people in my family thought I was going to be actually an artist, <laughs> but I never had the confidence to, to be on stage or anything like that. But then I think I would have been, I would have tried to be as close as I could to music and it probably would have been either as a music producer or maybe a DJ. Okay. Yes. She gave us her honest opinion of the Euro Lagos Ensemble. Um, I love it. It's easy, it's breezy, it's sophisticated, it's soft, yet very feminine and strong. Um, I told her I'm going to have to probably get something else, you know, so um, I absolutely love it. I, I, I really do. She told us how she felt being picked as one of the Euro Lagos Achiefer women. It's always weird when someone says or asks you how does it feel to be recognized as an achiever or things like that because I mean it's I, I I'm appreciative of the work that I've done. I mean I would give myself a pat on the back, you know, but I don't think I'm anywhere near what I want to be. So it's it's humbling when someone looks at you and goes, Oh yeah, you're an achiever. I'm like, oh okay. It's still I'm still that person that when people wave People I don't know wave at me in public or go hi, and then I, I look back and go, Is it, are they talking to me? <laughs> so when people recognize me in public, so um, it's 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 still I I try to keep it as brand new as possible for me, so I don't get caught up in it and then relax. So how do I feel being recognized as uh, the achiever for 2016? I'm humbled. I'm appreciative. Thank you.